Welcome everybody to the Network Blooming Working Group meeting for Thursday, November 5th, 2020. And as I said before, agenda doc is in the Zoom chat. And first up we have regular business, Doug. Can you walk us through that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we it should be really quick this week. Um, no candidates. Um, we do have a project proposal, but I believe we're going to have to punt it again. The um, main question that we had um, last time was um, how can we handle um, uh, making sure that the SROV network operator is um, upstream compatible. For some background, for those who might not be familiar, it does have bias towards um, OpenShift at the moment. Um, and I think that we need uh, Zenghui and Pung here in order to answer that question. So um, I'm going to add a to do. And then I'm going to move this to um, next week. And I will sync with them and talk about um, that. And if they can't make the next section, um, session, then I will proxy for them. So, um, OK, thanks, Doug. Um, just a quick reminder too, please add um, anybody who's on the call, please add your name to the attendees section in the agenda doc so that we have a record of who attends meeting for future membership um, candidates and uh, you know other uh, voting and things like that. Okay, sorry, Doug, back to you. Yeah, no, uh, no worries. Thanks for the reminder. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I think I've got the next two items. Um, the first one is um, who should we have as um, editors of the spec doc? That is, it's up for public editing in uh, like suggested change mode, um, which I think that we're all happy with. Um, but as for having who can approve those, um, I, um, I guess I would generally suggest that um, maybe we uh, have the same um, set of people that are um, the um, GitHub uh, project um, administrators. I'm trying to blank for the proper term, but uh, those that are um, owners of the um, GitHub org is really what I need. Um, anyone have any commentary there? No, I don't have an issue with that. Do you have that list handy or, um, or just rattle it off the top of your head? And so I can get it for us. I think this, Billy, you're reminding me that I think I also have some paperwork to do here because we're supposed to have a list in the community repo, but I can look at the list from the group, which would be um, Adrian Kyrus, um, Dave Kremens, um, Dan Williams, myself, um, uh, Moshe Leve uh, and uh, Robert Dower um, and Suresh Krishnan. I, mean, I think that's a wide enough list to, to be able to do that. So I don't see an issue with your suggestion. All right, cool. I will put it down here and make a note to myself here. Um, uh, if anyone has a problem with this in the future, bring it up. We can always add it to the governance, but um, I will add those people. Go ahead no. um, yeah, I, I don't have a problem with that either. Um, the current list largely overlaps with, uh, you know, some repo owners and such, um, but we should probably change that list as in editors of the Google Doc. Um, I will work that out with you, Doug. 
Uh, once you have the final list of people who should be uh, editors of that doc, just let me know and then I can go add those people and then remove anyone who's currently an editor who is not on that list. All right, that sounds perfect. Um, and I'm making a note to also update the um, Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you can do it if you want to as well, Doug. It should be pretty easy to make that happen. All right, cool. I'll give it a shot. If I don't have the privilege, I will um, uh, hit you up for sure. Sure. Uh, you've got the privilege. I know you're an editor of that doc I just checked. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll do it along with the, the other paperwork. All right, sweet. Well, thank you regardless. Um, the next one that I've got on here um, from uh, last week, which is um, we're thinking about with our updates for device info, um, bumping the version, and it brought up the question of what um, should the spec version um, 1.2 be constituted of? Um, I mean, clearly device info spec is something that we've added. Um, do we mean things that we, uh, new, net new things that we want to add to the spec that we think are coming up? Is this like a general question? Cause I think like Tomo added some stuff recently or fairly recently, it's probably been a couple months now. But I don't remember if we bumped it to from 1.0 to 1.1. So, you know, in general, what constitutes a bump in minor version? Is that the general question, or are we just saying what going forward? Do we, is there anything coming up that we should wait to do a 1.2? Is that what the question is? Hi. Uh, yeah, Billy, I think that you have put it uh, better than I did here in the notes. Um, yeah, so maybe it's uh, maybe it's a multi part question, um, which is, do we have enough changes to constitute a minor change? Um, do we have enough on the docket that we should um, plan what the next uh, uh, minor version bump should be? Um, Right, because I'm trying to remember what, how the documents changed recently. I mean, the network status versus statuses, or there was an S added to something. Um, and then yes. yep. all the infinity uh, no, band. No, actually, we did, we did actually change that in infinity band, yeah. All the infinity band stuff was added fairly recently. So, I mean, we I feel like we have enough to at least bump it, but the question more in general, like, you know, these minor changes how, when do, what constitutes a bump and revision um i mean it's basically whenever we make a change and we think so maybe we should formalize that process more but <laughs> got um, feeling yeah, I mean, you know, you can always go with like the system D style of every time you make a change, you bump the number by one. Um, but either way, uh, you know, we've got a couple of things. Um, I think that probably is enough to constitute a 1.2. Um, you know, it's just kind of up to this group. So. Yeah, I'll give a plus one. I, I think that it's enough to constitute a 1.2. It's been a while. There's been a few um, minor things. And then certainly device info spec um, alone, I think, is probably enough. And InfiniBand, um, I think, is also um, significant in a way. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Should we 
um, put it to a vote. Yeah, I'm for a vote. Yep, let's go for it. Um, I mean, we've voted to approve all the items in the spec, so there shouldn't be um, you know, any uh, problem with the spec as it exists today. It's just a question of bumping the number and messaging that. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, so for a vote, uh, anyone uh, not in agreement? Cool that we make it easy. Um, um, okay, nice. Um, I guess with a new version, that probably means some um, updates to the um, GitHub repo. Um, Dan, you've done that in the past. I I'm happy to volunteer to go through that process. Okay, yeah, I'll work with you to figure out what that would be. Okay, cool. Um, all right, that's good for me unless people want to talk about constitution of a revision change further. Yeah, over to you, Billy, go for it. All right. Um, yeah, I just was going to give an update on some of the device info spec since we approved it. Um, so the spec um, has been, the, we approved a Google Doc, so that has been converted into a mark, into markdown and placed into the um, repo that's linked here. So that spec changes have been merged. Um, we, we went ahead and put it in as a 0, 0.1.0 with the thought that um, we would get the implementation done and make sure there was no nitpicky stuff that needed to be changed and then move it up to 1.1.0 once we were comfortable with no minor tweaks here and there. Um, so that's, that has been merged. Um, I have um, two PRs sitting out there. The first one, takes the is in the uh, network attachment client um, that's where the network status structure is actually defined so we added the device info um, data structure to there and added some utility functions to help manage that data like the marshal and a marshal of the data and writing it to some um, um, device plugin file and cni files so that pr is sitting up there if anyone would like to take a look at it. Um, it was based off Adrian's original POC that he'd been working on for multiple months. Um, so, and then Doug added a comment here that we that that repo has not been versioned or tagged at all. So um, he's thinking of tagging it before we merge um, the device info spec stuff to it. So Doug, I'll let you talk to that. Uh, yeah, and I think that we can make this uh, fairly simple, especially with the previous conversation about the spec version, but I think that I'm just going to tag it at a v1.1.0 before this, um, just because Billy has, and it's, it's one method, but changes the number of parameters, it probably would be nice if people could um, track stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to um, tag it at v1.1.0 to match the spec. Um, and if anyone has um, any um, other input on that or a different idea, um, speak up or get in touch with me and um, I'll, uh, and we can go from there. So thanks, Billy. Yep. Yep. And then I went ahead and pushed in a second PR for Multis. Um, that one's a work in progress because it depends, it's, it's dependent on the network attachment di uh, definition client going in. So it's definitely, it's not building right now, but I, I have it building locally. So I just wanted to put the base code up if anyone wanted to look at it. 
Um, and so that actually is step two, which is where Multis will read in the device plugin file, make a copy of it and forward it to, or pass the name up to the CNIs and then um, put whatever, either the CNI can write its own file or take the device plugin file and then update the network status by adding the device info. So that code is in the Multis PR. So um, just this all happened like a day or two ago. So I figure since with the upcoming meeting, I would just push it out. If anyone would like to take a look, have any comments, feel free to, um, you know, provide feedback. And if not, sometime in probably in early next week, we'll try to merge some of this stuff if there's no issues. So like I said, it's just an update if anybody wanted to take a look. All right. Thanks, Billy. Mm -hmm. I think you're up next, Ed. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, one thing that we put in the um, governance doc um, was that we would prefer merging by um, a GitHub robot. And um, I was chatting with Zengli this morning, and he's like, hey, do we have an example of that yet? Um, so. I'm like, no, nope, we haven't implemented that. Um, but I think it's a good idea. I'll I'll do some uh, looking into it. My current quote unquote simple idea is to uh, make a custom GitHub action that basically would have a workflow that looked something like check if the whatever tests are currently there pass. Uh, and then check for maybe some labels on the um, pull request to see that it's been approved and then uh, merge it uh, based on that. Um, I, um, I lean to that just because we can kind of customize it a little bit to our own um, rules without, you know, using something super huge, like, for example, you know, um, maybe what's used for something as big as like a core Kubernetes um, might be overkill for some of our um, our projects. But uh, I wanted to bring it up to the group and see if anyone had um, suggestions that um, otherwise, yeah, I'd be happy to hear it. I've never done it. So whatever you do, make sure it's easy to duplicate in other repos or clear enough that it's okay, pull up this section and this is how it works. So other repos can pull it in, but I don't think I can provide help because I've never done it before. Yeah, no worries. Um, you know what, I'll, I'll try a um, example one on a private repo and see if it looks haywire or something like that. Um, I'll bring it, I'll bring it back to the group. Um, but yeah, if anyone thinks of something, hears of something, um, yeah, feel free to um, hit me up or if anyone has interest and stuff like that, um, for sure. So. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, I think that covers that one for me. All right. Thanks, Doug. Uh, do we have any other business? Anybody else in the call? Do you have anything you want to talk about? Give people a couple more seconds to find the mute switch. All right, if not, thanks everybody for a good meeting. We approved spec V12 um, and we'll see everybody in two weeks. All right, Dan, do you, um, Dan, do you care about the network attachment definition? Do you want to take a look or do you want Doug and I just to move it forward or? 
I, yeah, I mean, I, I care. Um, I don't know if I um, have time to check it out or unless, you know, it just needs a really quick uh, review on that. Um, well, I'm happy to take a look though, but if that's I up to you. It was purely up to you. I, you yep. know, I know you're, you got like multiple things going on. So I just didn't know if we should hold up waiting on no. you or whether nope. we should just move forward it, with it. Nope. Okay. If you guys are fine with it, um, you know, that's fine with me too. Okay. Just wanted to sandy check to see if, you know, we, after a week, we should go ahead and do it. Sure. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Right, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. See you.